goes against them as Egypt register their first win of the campaign as we welcome in Colin Udo to reflect on today's action. Uh, I suppose, Colin, before we talk about Egypt, let's talk about your boys. Hey, this wasn't supposed to happen for Nigeria. It wasn't really this plain sailing, was it, considering the chaos in the lead-up to this tournament? Exactly. I mean, when we have everything going right for us, um, coach in place, bonuses paid, no issues, no fights, we go to a tournament and we mess up. But when we have chaos, fire the coach <laughs> to the tournament, have two days of training, have five, six players, you know, pull out of injuries and whatever, we go to a tournament, we start like we're champ we've been crowned champions already. So I think maybe that's a template that, you know, some other countries need to take, um, to take, take a lesson from. I know when it comes to Nigeria, you're a serial pessimist, uh, Colin. However, <laughs> looking at it, have they got a chance to go all the way? Oh, yeah, there's a good chance to go all the way. Look, the, the good thing about Nigeria is you go to the AFCON every time. We've never failed to make it. Well, I mean, usually we always make it at least to bronze medal stage. We have the most podium places of any African team at, at the AFCON. So I think it, it's a good bet to say Nigeria will make it to at least semi-final. Now, where they can win it, uh, it's 50-50, but, you know, I wouldn't back against this team right now. Uh, we heard Craig saw on the goal that was disallowed in the Guinea-Bissau game, the late equaliser against Egypt. What did you think? I would have given the goal. Look, it was a case of um, six of one, half a dozen of the other. And, you know, the, the defender was um, pulling the, the, the forward shirt as much as he was getting. So I think that goal should have been allowed to stand. But for Egypt, I suppose it's the ability to at least get some points on the board after that disappointing opening defeat. Exactly. And, I mean, it was hard. Yeah. They played much better than they did in the first game. And so they got the result they needed. The, the only concern for them now will be when they finish second, they are now in line to face their um, North African rivals, Algeria. And that's going to be a very, very difficult game and one to look out for. So I'm not quite sure if you like where they're going to now. I mean, they love the fact they're going to qualify, but who they're going to meet, I'm not sure they're going to love it so much. Colin Udo, as always, fantastic to have you on. Thank you very much, mate. Of course, the African Cup of Nation continues on a Sunday. Let's remind you of the four matches that will take place. Gambia against Mali, Ivory Coast take on Sierra Leone. Uh, meanwhile, T Tunisia in action against Mauritania and it's Algeria against Equatorial Guinea. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.